Good morning, Madam Eliza. Good morning. Um, um... My name is Crystal. Right, you told me. It must have slipped my mind. That's all right. Here's your cup of coffee. This coffee seems different than usual. Are you sure this is mine? Pretty sure. Where's Emmerich? You'll see him soon, Madam Eliza. Right. So, tell me. Do you ever forget things? Well, I think we all forget things from time to time. You know what? Last week, I didn't know where I was. It took me a few minutes to realize where I was. I'm confused. I'm totally confused. What was I saying? Why don't you try to tell me about the story behind that photo? This photo was taken in 1981. My parents let me and my sister have our first cup of coffee. I don't remember much, but what I do remember is one of my saddest memories. Losing my parents. It was tough for me to get over. I loved them so much. But my sister... Felicia? Yes, Felicia. She probably suffered the most. She needed to take care of them while I was working. Yes, I was working and taking care of Emmerich. Unfortunately, they passed away when we were still young, I think. That's what I remember. That's about it. Well, the only thing you need to worry about now is your health. Emmerich? Love? Can you please calm down for a second? I'm trying, but it's been so long since I've seen my mom. She doesn't remember who I am. Calm down, okay? She's probably on some stronger meds by now. She'll be fine. But by, by the way, how's my makeup? It's fine. What? Emmerich, I spent two hours getting ready to come see your mom, okay? How do you think it makes me feel when you say it's fine? I'm sorry. Look. Who asked you to spend two hours getting ready anyway? Excuse me? You look <sighs> beautiful. Thank you. But you didn't say it sincerely. Carly, can you stop acting like this? <laughs> acting like what? Okay, do, does this have anything to do with your mother? This has nothing to do with my mother, for God's sake. I, I don't want to fight anymore. What do you want me to say? I want you to be supportive for once. Good morning, Mr. Emmerich. Your mom's been talking about you all morning. She's so excited to see you. Mom. Hi, Mom. Emmerich! Miss Eliza, I'm, you're going to stay here. I'm going to go get you a cup of coffee, okay? How are you, Mom? It's been too long. How are things with you and... Carly, yeah, we're, we're great. How are you feeling, Mom? Uh, I don't know what to say. What's the matter? 
Do you know why I'm here? It's been hard following everything. I feel like I'm missing something. But... Can I just have a cup of coffee? Yeah. Yeah, of course you can get a cup of coffee. Baby, it's getting late, okay? And I have an appointment. So, uh, everything's okay, Mom? Well, well, this morning when I was went off to... Where did I go this morning? What did I do this morning before we met? I forget. I'm sorry. It's okay, Mom. Um, I'm just tired, you Yeah, know? yeah, that's okay. You need to rest and take care of yourself. I'll be back soon, though. Drink your coffee. I'm sure that's gonna make you feel better. Who lost my mind? Was it me or was it you? Or were we both just sick of trying? Oh my God, I haven't seen this photo in a long time. My parents let me and my sister have our first cup of coffee. What was I saying? I remember the smell of fresh coffee. And then my first sip, the effect was electric. I was wide awake and bursting with energy and my mind was racing in all sorts of directions. After that first sip, I was an instant addict. That's a beautiful story, Madam Eliza. Hey, sweetie. Can I have a cup of coffee? I really need one. Madam Eliza, your cup of coffee is on the table. And remember, we limited it to two cups of coffee a day now. This is not my coffee. I think someone left it in here by mistake. It's burnt and it tastes awful. It's yours. I made it myself. I don't like generic coffee that's been left on the burner all day. I don't like generic coffee. I don't like this noxious drink that coats your tongue with a disgusting, bitter taste. Madam Eliza, calm down. Okay, I made it for you myself. It's nice and warm. Just try it. I told you I don't want it! Oh. I'm sorry. It's... It's all right. regular cappuccino and then I couldn't find my phone. It took me forever to find my keys. Anyways, after being broken up with my boyfriend for exactly 24 hours, I told to myself maybe it's time to go visit my older sister. She might have some good advice. Oh my god, Eliza. What are you wearing? Thank you. 
Why are you looking at me like that? You see a ghost or something? I have to tell you something. I did something completely foolish with the guy. So ridiculous. Even worse is I did the same foolish thing with another guy pretending that I had never done that foolish thing before. <sighs> so tired of men, for real. Why do these things always happen to me? Eliza. Honey, you look confused. By the way, what did you do to your hair? Anyways, what about you? What did you do all summer? <laughs>
may want to be here as much as possible. Yeah, I understand. It must be really hard for you seeing her like this. I've been working with her for the past year, and it's hard for me to watch her condition worsen every day. I can only imagine how you feel. Thank you so much for, um, for doing this. She wouldn't have made it this far without you. If there's anything else you'll let me know? Um, actually, she has been complaining about her coffee recently. <laughs> um, is there some special way to make it, or am I doing something wrong? Yeah, she's very picky about her coffee. Um, I'll show you how to make it. Sure. And the secret's in the boil. You don't need to stir the coffee because the boiling itself mixes the grounds in the water. Brought you some coffee, just the way you like it. Um, my therapist mentioned it would be a good idea to do this. My mother is mentally ill. It started three years ago when she was struggling with issues that I didn't understand. I remember seeing her sad most of the time. It's been devastating, but I've decided to be strong and take care of things. I was feeling completely unloved. I felt fear and shame. I got tired of not knowing when you'd be having a good day or a bad day. I didn't want others in my life to know that my mother was ill. But I'm not ashamed anymore. You are a brave woman who raised me to have a better life. And I know you never stopped caring about me. And I know you've been fighting for years. The pressure has been too much. I forgive you for not always being there for me. I hope you can forgive me too. I love you, Mom.
Some people have asked me, what was one of my favorite memories? I remember, I was 10 years old. It was a beautiful day. It was a cozy morning. I remember the smell of fresh, warm coffee. I remember my first time experiencing caffeine for breakfast. I'm glad I took that sip, and I've been loving it ever since. Some people say memories last forever. Some others say memories are destined to fade. I just know that memories are what we live for. I've been trying to keep them with me. All this time, my mind was trying to stay alive each day, but there's nothing I could do. I know I'm not the same anymore, and I will never be. Just please remember me as I was.